In this video I'm going to show you how to resolve an error that can happen when you try to connect um, using an API to a Mongo database. The error can be this. Element ID does not match any field or property class. Okay. Um, when you try to, to get records from a specific table, it can happen. But uh, Okay, let's check for this ID element in the um, in that specific entity. In this case, is the entity is book in my case. And uh, let's see, uh, let's take a look. Maybe you check the entity and you find the ID, and the ID is there, and you say, "Hey, what's going on? The ID is there. Why I I have this mistake?" But maybe. Uh, you have this uh, attribute, okay, attached to the attached to the field, and for that reason, this field, okay, has a direct connection with that ID that is generated by MongoDB internally, okay. So maybe the problem is not here. Maybe the problem is in the data. Okay, now I'm going to stop this execution and let's check, let's check uh, the database. I'm going to open a terminal here, this PowerShell, and I'm going to get into the database. This database is running uh, in a container, it's a Docker, con Docker container, and now I'm uh, trying to get a connection with the, with the container. Okay, it is ready. I'm going to execute Mongo, okay, and I'm going to use the database where my data resides. Uh, the name of the database is book db. And uh, okay, now I'm going to get information from the table book with using this command. Okay, let's see my documents and okay I have three documents okay in Mongo um, the records are documents <laughs> interesting and uh, as you can see it has an ID with this uh, little underscore and this ID is linked to this ID in this in this entity okay perfect we have more uh, properties okay ISBN title yeah your uh, publication and outer and the next document is in the same way and the third document has something different okay there is an ID here an additional ID okay Maybe uh, for a mistake that uh, the insert had this additional uh, field, and for that reason, it is creating something like a new column. And this column, this property or key, doesn't have a place to go, okay? Because this ID is mapped to this field because it has this attribute okay and this uh, this field doesn't have a place to go there is no uh, another ID and if you put uh, to try to set another ID you're going to be a duplication and that's going to be an error too so the solution in this case is to uh, to remove this record this document using uh, a command let me check the command okay this is remove I'm going to change this here and I'm going to specify another another field it can be ASBN okay and the value is this okay copy 
paste okay I guess it was removed now let's check again the records okay you have one and two records now let's execute the, the API again and uh, let's try again try it out execute and okay now we don't have the error anymore these are the two records as you can see and okay the problem was was resolved